just pulled into the Strathcona test track. It's Wednesday evening and they are out plowing it right now because they did get a bit of snow. I think that's all we're going to do for today is just plow it and then tomorrow we're going to hit some laps on the track and then head to Beaujolais. evening and we're at walls Calvin took a tumble on his f3 testing it so we're here trying to get things situated see what we need once we're done here we're gonna head up to Beaujolais today is a full day of testing from 1 to 4 Hannah and Kelvin will be testing today they get three times out uh, that's about it Lucas, what are you doing? Uh, we're super tuning Hannah's sled. <laughs> and what are we doing to super tune it? Well, the choke is broke. Okay. So we're going to do some uh, engineering here to get by. Got it. Hannah, how do you feel about that? Great. Don't ask her that question. <laughs> <laughs> here, let me put a hat on. <laughs> there we are. I feel better. Feeling better. I was missing a, a part of my attire. Got it. Huh? <laughs> Ten. <laughs> it does it sometimes. <laughs> I wouldn't have a problem with oh, heavy okay. well, We made it back to the house, but testing I think went well today. It was kind of hard to gauge everything because of the like sloppy, wet, slushy track. But um, I think we made some progress and we are ready for tomorrow. The vlog! Oh, that's nice. How's the vlog doing tonight? Um honestly not awesome is it dry this week it's pretty dry i need some i need something well i did take some super snapping pictures today you did do you think they're gonna make the vlog or are they gonna get cut Addy, insert them here yeah i just did you a favor so i think we're gonna put like the one of calvin doing his stretches i got a couple good ones from there yep um what else did you get got some well, the portrait really Really focused. Honestly, I'm thinking Lucas quits his uh, construction job and goes into no, photography. No, I couldn't do that. I think he should. Look at these. Look at them. Look at them photos. Pop them up here. <laughs> Maybe one more here. There we are. Right. I love it. Kelvin and Hannah just went out for their hot laps. Hannah is looking a lot more comfortable, which is awesome. And Kelvin is, um, I think we're figuring things out, which is awesome. So I think we're kind of, we're kind of with everyone right now, which feels good. So um, we're just waiting for his first heat to come up. Here we go. Looks like G-Money Gunner Stern on the Red Bull Skidoo with the whole shot there. Justin Peterson out of Campbellsport, Wisconsin. 
That rider certainly knows how to get around the racetrack here. 75 in the third spot is Calvin Cook out of Dayton, Minnesota. Great looking sled. That is a wall chassis. 100 miles an hour flat on the last lap. Gunnar Stern takes the win, followed by the 39X, Justin Peterson, Cook, then... <laughs> Race 25, round two, heat three, pro champs. Great action in turn number one and two now as they try to sort themselves out. Three wide down the back straightaway. Brought our day here. We've got a red. 55, sponsor here in Bozeger. Calvin Cook on the 75, and we're racing once again. Lane Stevenson in the lead around turn one and two. But that rider has some company down the back straightaway. White flag coming out now. The Wall Brothers 102 leads it. Foss at the 55 third. As the Wall Brothers Racing 102 will take this one, Foss. Towels, all my guns. DC. All right. Here we go. We are racing once again. Last chance qualifier. Only three go to the main events. Race winner to the front row, second and third to the back row of the main events. For at least a moment. This is a great race. Wow. Side by side. Is your first spot in the last chance qualifier. Sovetsky followed by the six and the 15. Six Gavin Peterson, the 15. Of course, Hunter Sears all going to the main event unofficially. Very good race, very competitive. Well, that is a last chance qualifier, a bit of a desperation race, if you will. And you can see it there. Boy, did they race hard. All right, so it is Sunday here in Beaujolais, Manitoba. We are expecting some pretty nasty weather. They did cancel hot laps. We are just going to get ready for the first heat then. Last night, um, kind of forgot to update you guys. We did okay. Um, it seemed as though like we did better after the restart so um we're trying some new things today um and gonna try and get that get in that final so we will see how today goes <laughs> all right so we just got back in from the third heat um honestly kind of a struggle but um, we're just, we're not, it's not a lack of speed. It's more so a lack of a hole shot. So that's kind of our main goal right now is just trying everything to see what we can get. And then hoping that we're in the LCQ and then hoping we make the final, so. Lucas, how do you think this weekend went? Uh, I feel like we learned a lot, yeah. I mean, we, uh, we had some speed, had speed all weekend, just couldn't get it out of the hole. And it killed him, unfortunately. Yeah. Held him back. Mm-hmm. We'll get him. We'll be back next year. Maybe I'll take the Jones over. As long <laughs> as we can go to another Tim. Yeah, for sure. We stopped in a hotel in Grand Forks because the roads were awful and the wind is awful we're about four or five hours away from home so we're gonna wake up early in the morning and make the trek home i think being the last race of the season it's a little bittersweet not like being in the finals today but um with all the improvement made i think everyone is pretty satisfied um and ready to get ready for next season. So we will see you then.
or maybe before who knows